In this video, I'm going to give you some tips on how to better organize your installed plugins. By default, Cubase organizes the plugins like this, which is a bit unintuitive. Some of the stuff's here by brand name, so EIOSIS is there, everything's there. Eventide's there, everything's there. But all my plugin alliance stuff, like barely anything is in the plugin alliance folder. Um, I don't know if they're in other, no, there's some kilohertz stuff in other, but kilohertz also has its folder, which I don't really get. Guitar has THU slate, but there's a bunch of other guitar based software that's not there. So I don't know where it is. Filter, bunch of random stuff, EQ. So here's one. Under EQ, you have all the BX consoles, which are channel strips, but under channel strips, I've only got the Lindell 80 channel, which is also a channel strip, but the the ones that you would expect to be there, like BX console in, SSL 4000, SSL 9000J, etc. They're not there, which doesn't really make much sense. I guess there's EQs on them, but they're channel strips, so you would expect them to be in the channel strip, so it's a bit unintuitive. Mastering, got some mastering stuff. Newfangled Elevate, Ozone, so there are some mastering plugins in there, but there's no, I can't see any isotope. So yeah, I mean, it's 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 not very well organized. So what I do, this is how I have it set up personally. So by brand, I've got everything here by brand that I'm using. So there's the plugin alliance stuff, but then I've got BX up here. So it's also plugin alliance, but it has all the channel strips and stuff in it, plus compressors and what have you. All the master and mix stuff, stuff for monitoring, all the native instruments effects. Just grouped up all the neutron, all the mag stuff, all the Lindell stuff, and then all the stuff that I'm currently using or new plugins that I'm experimenting with throw them into this open area so they're easy to find. I think it's a, it's a much better way than the default sort of setup in Cubase. So I'll show you how to do that. You go up to the studio menu or in older versions of Cubase, it's the device menu. Then you go to VST plugin manager, open that up. Then what you'll want to do is click on vendor so that it organizes all the vendor stuff alphabetically. Then in the top left corner of this window, if you go to new collection, empty, I'll just call it my mains 2.0. And then what I want to do is start at start. So Acoustica. And then if I highlight all the Acoustica plugins, so if I click the first one in the chain here and then click on shift and then left click, oh, left click, that'll select all of the Acoustica plugins and then I can just drag them across and now they're all in that folder. And then I could do the same thing with BAB Audio. For some reason, it doesn't appear under this folder, so you need to drag it down. I don't know why it doesn't do that, but it's another quirk of Cubius and Steinberg. So drag across BB Audio, and then sell the money, and then drag across Melodyne. D16, drag cross repeater and tour verb, and so on. So you just work your way down the list and basically you can add folders for all the different plugin brands. Then additionally, what I tend to do is add in one for delays, sometimes one for EQs. 
Usually I'll have one dedicated for just reverbs. I'm a total addict for reverbs. So if you're anything like me, you've got tons of plugins and you want to try and find a way to organize them so that you can find them a bit better. Another way is to click to open your inserts and then use the little search bar at the top. So say I want to find frequency. And that's a, another way to quickly find things. But personally, I like to have things sort of organized in a way that's intuitive to find. Alphabetical seems like the best way to do it. And yeah, for my workflow, just sort of taking the 15, 20 minutes or whatever it took to organize things, totally worth it. It really speeds up my workflow, so makes things easier. And every time that I get a new piece of software, I'll just open up the plugin manager and then I'll drag it across into the relevant folder or create a new folder, depends. As well as that, you can do exactly the same thing with your VST instruments. So whatever VST instruments you have, you can create a my mains folder create folders within I've got one here for SSD sampler, SD, SSD five, BFD battery, groove agent, M drummer, all the synths that came with native instruments just means that when you create a VST instrument that, uh, you've got all the, the stuff right there and it's organized and stuff's easy to find. So yeah, I definitely think it's worth doing. And hopefully this has given somebody some kind of insight and been helpful. Cheers.